Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, we are in Springfield, Missouri at the Moore Expo. Uh, made it down here last year, got to check it out, but didn't get a ch uh, chance to do a lot of video. So this year we are, we're gonna do a quick little walkthrough. Uh, they have not only the inside, they got a whole outside area here to deal with. So that's gonna be really cool. Uh, a lot of really awesome stuff here. We brought the van. I mean, why wouldn't we? A year ago is where we saw the van here, the, saw the company storyteller over there for the first time, and now we're coming back at the very next year's show with the van that we ordered after seeing it here in the show. So, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just perfect. Storyteller, it's good stuff. More expo, awesome show. Let's take a closer look. I'm Corey Pratt, and this is Craving Cars. here we are in the actual ex uh, expo now don't look here and think that like this is like oh it's just that's it that's it no it's not just this there's a lot of outdoor side um, and there's three different wings of this building uh, one that's basically is equal to this one um, and one that's virtually almost the size uh, it's a little bit smaller but it, it really is a, a pretty good show it's it's grown uh, from when we come last year and I assume that it's going to continue to grow um, as time come on. And uh, to get this wonderful shot, this shot right here is brought to you by Storyteller Overland. There's one of their new transit mode LTs right down there. And I am standing on a stealth, which is basically the same thing that, uh, that I have as well. And this is the mode LT. And it's the first time we're getting to take a look at it. So all built on transit, all wheel drive. Uh, I think it's like the 2.7 2 liter V6 EcoBoost uh, in it. And um, and yeah, kind of built out. They, they, they have to lift it up a little bit. They got some custom wheels, bronze wheels that look really good on it. And other than that, it's, it's really similar. A uh, couple of little differences because of the way the van layout is, uh, but it's pretty much like the ones that are built on the Mercedes on the inside. You just got the transit front end and it's a little taller. So if you're a little taller person, so it's slightly wider as well. But other than that, there you go, all-wheel drive, Eagle Boost. Garage system, just like ours on the Sprinter. The bed, so they say from, from width to width, so from here all the way over, it's slightly wider. And I did stand in here, and it is a little taller. I'm 6'2", and I had, oh, I don't know, an inch, two inches of uh, headroom. But the layout's very similar. Obviously, the, the front the cab is going to be a little different because it's a Ford, not a Sprinter. So there you go, galley, microwave, those are all your stuff, your shower coming down, uh, still has the groove lounge, and there you go. So let's see if we can brighten this up just a little. You got the seats still swivel around, you got the Ford transit front. I like these are cool, they got some like auxiliary switches there, so I guess that can, that can be wired up for additional lighting or whatever on the outside, That's I like that. But other than that, it's kind of a more loaded out transit as opposed to loaded out sprinter so you have a lot of similar features there's not missing a lot just a a couple that may not be an option or it may have something the sprinter might not have 
because of the slope of the front end, they don't have the monitor and stuff here. It's actually above the door over here for your whole system. And that's for control on your whole system and all that stuff. We'll have more, more on that when we do a full walkthrough review of ours. Uh, check out Storyteller Overland on their website. And uh, I think you'll like what you see if you're into uh, the camper van kind of thing. You're looking for a, a very capable rig. This, this might be the way to go. And they've got multiple trim levels that'll fit your needs as you do it. So let's go take a look at the rest of the show and see some more cool stuff. All right, here are some go treads. Look at that, made in Kansas, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, works great for traction, kind of like a, a traction board kind of thing, and for leveling out your vehicle. Look at that. Different heights, different things. And um, we're gonna order a set, if that's okay with you. As long as we get stickers for free. You get stickers and keychains. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're going with the uh, the go treads. Uh, um, eventually, we're going to get like uh, Max tracks or hold on, Axon tracks, right there. Um, go with those. Um, I, I'm really kind of liking those. They're a little bit cheaper than Max tracks, and I feel like they're just as good or better. I don't know. I haven't really used them, so I don't I don't really know for sure. But the go treads is something we can store inside and. Uh, uses levelers, and I think that's what we've come across the most, not this getting stuck part, but uh, leveling the van out because we'll be at some place and we're kind of crooked, so be, I think they make better levelers than Max Trax type of products. For you coffee drinkers out there, I just want to throw this out because we ended up trying some of their coffee out and it was uh, pretty damn good. And uh, if you're into coffee, that is. Not a biggest coffee drinker, but it wasn't bad. But we got a couple of little products. Um, got your six coffee, check them out. I like them. Got a cool little French press. Got a couple little coffee mugs. Good stuff. Action tracks, take them out. There you go. Hey, what's up from the action tracks crew? I, I think this is this is just one of those products uh, anybody off-roading overlaying. It's just a good thing to have. Hopefully you don't have to use them. But hey, when you when you do have to use them, you'll be darn glad you got them. That's right. There's only one way to guarantee that you won't have to use them. That's to carry them with you. Yeah, if you carry them, you will not need them. If you own a pair and you leave them at home, you're guaranteed to get stuck. Absolutely. It's just the way it works. That's it. This yeah. is he's not lying. But yep, so. Action Tracks, check them out. Made in the U.S. of A in uh, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas. Kansas. So if anybody thinks that Kansas ain't worth anything but, uh, but flat land, then you're lying because they make these. See. Yeah, these guys seem to be really, really cool too. Nice little True North outpost. They're up in Michigan. Um, they do a lot of that stuff right there. 
a lot of adventuring stuff, but they do have their own store. If you're up there, go take a look at them. Really nice, really cool guys and gals. Oh, here we are at the uh, the Backwoods booth. Uh, we got some really cool stuff. Grant's uh, from Arkansas off-road right there, his channel, check it out. Lots of cool adventures, not just with uh, with his Tacoma, but just with a bunch of really cool people. Um, I am sitting on a, a Sprinter van. So we've got actually one of Backwoods' roof racks here. Um, he's got some solar panels behind me. Um, there's bumpers on here. Let's. Uh, let me take a good look at those in here in just a second. You got the rear bumper and the front bumper that we're getting on our spinner van. And so we're working with Backwoods to try to get that situated. So there's the rear one we're getting. Lights. And let's get to the front here. There's that. The difference is, is we're going to have the bull bar up top. Winch, extra lights. All good stuff in life. And it's going to be very, very awesome. Uh, extra lights, winch. All that good stuff, um, and it's better than having that, you know, the factory plastic cayenne bumpers. But from here, though, uh, we saw the other wing from Storyteller's booth, and now we've got one of the other wings. So you kind of see there's like three of these, and then there's a whole outside there. So it's a fairly good size show. It's a fairly good size show. Um, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, um, and if you're watching this, it's probably because you are. Definitely make it out to the Moore Expo next year, uh, especially if you're in the Midwest area. You're not very far. So if you're in need for, well, uh, uh, Mercedes Sprinter uh, bumpers, off-road type bumpers for that, or even the transit they have them, or perhaps you have a Tacoma 4Runner, they do a lot of Toyota stuff like that, check them out, Backwoods Adventure Mods. You know, coming to a show like this, you see a lot of places that have, you know, just your overland gear, you know, stuff you need. They may not have tents, you know, or trailers and old trucks and old builds, but you need the gear to go in them. So we have places like this that there's there's a lot of booths showing some uh, really good products out here. Overland Essentials here is one of them that I think we're going to see a little bit more of because they're local uh, out by Kansas City area. So I think we're going to we're going to see them another time and uh, and visit them and uh, take a look at their shop.
Diode Dynamics, what do you think? They make a lot of really cool lights. Um, this is what we're thinking of doing is some of the addition of lights. You guys got any other suggestions? I know there's KC, Baja, Rigid, and all those other ones, but anybody got any works with some of these for pod lights like this? And they even have them in multiple colors like that right there. Diode Dynamics. I, it's one of the ones I'm, I'm kind of liking um, a lot right now. Um, so, could be some good stuff. I do like this. Um, it's a van. You know, we have a van, but we have it as the nowadays vans. These are kind of like not really the typical van you see. Uh, you see sprinters and transits and stuff on these now. Now look at this, you've got, I'm assuming a full four x four conversion on this thing. And this is just decked out to the teeth. This is nice, nice seats. Nice done. Nice place to put your kids. Dogs. Dogs, I mean. Express Rally is one of these really, really cool car rallies that we've been on. Um, but if you guys don't know, Express Rally, um, based out of Northwest Arkansas, uh, but they do an overland rally as well. Not just out of Arkansas, they do them in Southern Missouri and Arkansas. I think they even go out in Colorado, New Mexico, and some bits like that. Um, but hey, follow Express Rally. So if you've been on the channel, you like the car rally, but you're really into the off-road stuff, they do some really, really killer overland rallies as well. All right, well, there's kind of a little quick walk around of the Moore Expo. Uh, I know there's so many cool things and, and booths and, uh, and uh, vendors and all the stuff and all the cool products that kind of like to be, you know, just nice to see more of. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to get that on. There was a big crowd uh, getting people's attention. I wouldn't mind a, a little interviews, but you know, we got some other products coming up, things that are gonna get installed on our van that we're gonna have a little bit more, uh, more detailed videos of that kind of stuff. Uh, and thanks later on. Uh, but it was it was really cool. Uh, thanks for everybody for being here. It's cool seeing Storyteller out here again, uh, seeing Backwoods Adventure Mods out here again. Uh, things that we're gonna get done to to our van. Well, one, ours is a Storyteller over land and, and, and seeing stuff from, from when we meet them, uh, from when we met them uh, a year ago at this show. But it's been a lot of fun um, uh, getting to walk around and just seeing, and, and the show has grown so much. You got this big outdoor area as well and just a lot of super, super cool rigs and a lot of super cool products out here. Um, but hey, that's it, that's the show. Thanks for joining. Like, share, subscribe, and do all that cool stuff. Comment on some of the cool things you like to see more of if you like to see more of these overlanding type of adventure stuff. My name is Corey Pratt. Thanks for coming, and to remember all you cravers out there, keep craving. Ooh, I'll tell you what, wind does your hair, some wacky stuff. Sorry, I can't do anything about that. You know, this parking lot alone is just, <laughs> that's a show by itself. All this cool stuff. I mean, you've got vendor parking with some cool stuff and then you've got spectator parking with equally cool stuff. Huh, crazy. You wanna see more of this stuff on this channel? Let us know.